Hey guys, what I do today, I wanna to talk about the box. So this is gonna be another short ass video. I wanna talk about Coach K, I wanna talk about you, and I wanna talk about coming, coming like Electra. Now, firstly, I wanna talk about you and Carmen, bro. So obviously, uh, Carmen was, you know, Coach K and you's assistant. So he did everything with you, lived with you, watched you to make sure that, you know, he didn't get hurt when he was fight when he was going up against the, the Santorino brothers, you know. Um, and it was interesting because, you know, she was kind of there, like a side character, like a side piece the whole time. So, you know, maybe we didn't see, like, the value in her type thing, you know what I'm saying? But she, she was there. We're like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, and then, you know, he started noticing, like... He liked being around her type shit. Like, she would, like, dress him up better. Get him to, like, live a little. My dude was, like, not even sleeping in the bed. Like, my dude was just, like, living, bro. Just, like, breathing for the sake of breathing. Like, he didn't even know why he was alive for. Like, the only reason he took up boxing is because it made him feel something. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason he took that shit out. That's the only reason he began to fight. But Cameron started making him think that, yo, maybe there's more to life than this shit. And that's the beauty here. And even, like, normally he don't really show too much emotion. Like, he's pretty cold and just emotionless and heartless and doesn't give a damn, bro. He just out here just like, yo, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then, what do we what do we discover? We discover, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Carmen, to him, is somebody special. She even took him out on a date, bro. And... He, he started, like, thinking, yo, with her, if it's her, bro, I can, like, see myself just hanging out with this woman. Like, I could, you know what I'm saying? She could be a reason, a reason to live beyond boxing and fighting. She, she offers me something that I've never really received in this way. You know what I'm saying? And she started liking him as well because of just how dedicated he was, how hardworking he was, how handsome the dude is. All of that shit. She she even changed his hairstyle because my boy was like out here with some bum ass hairstyle made by Coach K to make him look scary. She said, "Nah, bro, burn that shit, boy. You look better with hair like this. You look better dressed like this. You know what I'm saying? Pick some shit you wanna wear. Like try out these gears. Like made him like, yo, life is more than just fighting. Life is more than just punching dudes up. You know what I'm saying? And then Coach K, mm, Coach K saw that shit and he was like, yo. This woman is trying to make my dude weak. I can't have any weakness. You know what I'm saying? I can't have no weak, no emotion. Can be showcased. I want this dude to be a monster, a demon. I want to, this, this dude to, you know what I'm saying? Only worry about punching motherfuckers in the throat. That's it. Nothing else on sight. Vengeance, rage. That's all I need from this man. So she, he, this crazy psychopathic motherfucker, even though, imagine he adopted Cameron, bro. Imagine Cameron lost his folks. Coach K adopted her, bro. Gave her a job. Built her up, bro. And for the sake of a belt, for the sake of reputation, for the sake of getting revenge against Aaron T. Day, his best ever protege, for the sake of that. This dude, bro, this dude... Set, like sent goons to beat the shit out of Cameron, bro, and blamed it on the Santorino brothers, bro. Blamed it on them. Blamed it on them and say, yeah, it's on y'all. Like they did that shit. So, oh boy, you don't do no drugs, don't do. It. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he probably would have said no to drugs. He probably would be like, I don't, I don't want to do that shit. But because they hurt the only person he gives a shit about on earth bro he said do it bro plug it in bro plug me into make me into bane bro plug in all the juices you can in these veins and he went out there and tried to kill fabrizio he went out and tried to kill man bro i was like damn coach k a villain he evil ass dude bro to somebody he raised this is what he don't do bro and carmen discovered that shit bro and then he fired her, bro. Oh, not, I don't know if she fired, but like, he, he, she can't. He, she not allowed to get near you no more, bro. Cause she humanizes you, and he he doesn't want a human, bro. He wants a puppet, bro. That's probably why Iron T did left these bitch ass, bro. So I'm very intrigued to see what the fuck gonna happen with Coach K. But that dude is a psychopath, bro. Sociopath, whatever you wanna call that bitch. That dude is crazy, nuts off the his ain't brain gone loose. 
But I'm excited to, to discover more about this character. I'm, I'm excited to see what you will do when he finds out about what Coach K did to Carmen. I'm excited to see if Coach, you know, if Carmen and you are going to have a happy ending or not. I'm excited. Anyways, Benny Boy, Supreme Chair to God. What do you think? I'm out. Please!